uh, Sean Roscoe, Darren Bobian, and Marco Bucci. And the Raiders will probably count it. They're all huddled around uh, Javier Goretti, their goaltender. They're just breaking up now and heading towards the bench. They'll probably counter with the line of uh, assistant captain Jake Morris, uh, captain uh, Jeff Bigelow on the right side, and uh, the young uh, junior, uh, number 20, Chris Cameron, on the left side. And all righty. We're about ready to go here as uh, the Messina Red Raiders and the Plattsburgh High School Hornets get ready to face it off here to get going. Again, Rob Dandro will be the goaltender in the Nets for Plattsburgh. And we're ready for the drop of the puck, and the starting faceoff we're underway goes back to the Plattsburgh defense. And Luckin fires it right in the Messina zone, and Labarge had to be quick to come after it as it squirted right into the slot. Now it comes to Bigelow. Bigelow spins around, has it poke checked away by Eric Reed. Bigelow trying to slide it ahead. Morris. Morris steps by Reed. Out to center ice. The puck pokes free. Jake takes it across. Here's Morris. Drop pass. Labarge, his shot. Nice save. And Robbie Dandro comes up big right off the bat here. And Messina with the first opportunity of the game. Putting some pressure on now. It's Bigelow in behind the net. Plattsburgh zone. Bigelow circles. Looking for somebody to pass to. Drop pass. Morris right back to Bigelow. Bigelow in the slot. Can't get the shot off. And he slides it into the corner. Morris again after it. Bigelow all by himself. Morris now back to the point it goes. Here's the drive. Deflected. Wide. Bouncing in the slot. They jam for it. Back to the point again. Barkley whacks at it again. Directed just wide by Cameron. Cameron gets upended. Picks up the loose puck. Wraparound shot. Misses. And it's bounced back to the blue line but not out. Kept in by Labarge. He dumps it in the corner. And the puck whistles around the boards. In behind the net. Joey Fauché throws a check. But the defenseman, Scott Luckin, comes away with it, flips it out to center ice. It's knocked down by Jason Labarge. Labarge at his own blue line, dropping it to Manning as Messina in the middle of a change. Headman pass into the zone. It goes. Eric Reed with it. Doesn't get it out. Well, apparently he did, as offsides will be called. So Messina off with a bang here. Boy, did they come out of the blocks in a hurry. Uh, with the bang is right. All kinds of pressure on the Plattsburgh uh, goaltender, Rob Dandrew. And uh, Jake Morris made a great play. Came down the right side, drew the defense. He cut to the middle. And a little back lateral pass to the trailing defenseman, Jason Labarge, and just ripped it wide. Off the faceoff, puck goes back in Plattsburgh territory. Mike Dahl flips it around the board's defenseman. Tommy P Morris throws a check. The puck squirts free. Fauché and Dahl jam for it. Comes along the board's. Fauché picks up the loose puck in the circle, looking to center it to McCracken. He can't get the shot off. It's back to the point. Tommy Post flips it in the corner, whistles around the boards to McCracken behind the net. Here's McCracken centering pass off a leg, side of the net. Nobody home for Messina, and Plattsburgh moves it out to center ice. Here come the Hornets, flipping it into the Messina zone. Goes in behind the net. Javier Gritty stops it, leaves for Manning, taken away from him. Manning gets it back again, has it poked away as they jam for it. Corey Lucas loses to Post, and Post starts out. His headman pass, Manning follows up, backhands it to center ice. The puck sits there. It's picked up by Paul Sherman across the blue line, one on four, and he is upended. The puck bounces free back to the point. Dahl with it, flips it in the corner. In the Messina zone, Todd Manning for the Raiders, ahead to Post. Post moves it, bounce pass intercepted. Here's the shot, and it's wide. I think a glove on it by Javier Garitti, that shot taken by Sherman, but Garitti was with it the whole way. Now Fauché starts out right side. Headman pass to McCracken. Scotty tries to move it ahead to his winger. It's intercepted, and it comes back to Mike Dahl at his blue line. Dahl with it for Plattsburgh. Steps it, shoots it right on from center ice. Save made by Garitti, and it's stopped in behind the net. Here comes Barkley trying to clear the zone. He does. The head man goes to Eddie Davis. Davis, the big drive, is knocked down by the sprawling defenseman. Good defensive play by Luckin. Puck comes free in behind. Racing for it there is Kellison. Kellison steals the puck in behind the net, being tied up. He stays with it, though. Circles around. Kellison knocked down, trying to slide. It goes into the back of the mesh, and it's tied up there. And we'll have a faceoff. Is little Freddie Kellison doing yeoman's work there to... Uh, to stay away from the big defenseman is Eric Reed all over him, but Kellison still somehow managed to play that puck. And I'll tell you, he's not big 5'9", 155. That Eddie Davis, can he crank it up? He uh, he unleashed the shot, and uh, Scott Luckin, as you alluded to, Jerry, slid across and blocked it, made a great save. But uh, in the first three games, Eddie Davis showed us that he can really crank that puck. Off the faceoff, just outside Plattsburgh territory. The puck controlled by Reed. Reed, long headman pass, goes off a leg into the Messina zone in behind the net. Gritty. Flips it in the corner. He likes to rail a little bit. Now the puck in the faceoff circle bounces right across the goal mouth. That just went off a leg, and it's picked up by Aaron Barkley. Bounce pass ahead to Kellison. Kellison, backhander, doesn't get it out of the zone. Kept in at the point. Here's the drive. Gritty makes the save. Looks to cover up and does as he was being uh, checked by Boutsier, Mike Boutsier, the center of the third line. 
and both teams are going to change up as Garitti covers up for the faceoff left side. We're down to 11:27 remaining to play here in the first period on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's happened again that time Friday's Kellison, but uh, two or three times so far. A young Raider uh, defense and forwards have to, when they're uh, having trouble, well, we'll pick it up later, Jerry. Here, back to the play-by-play. -play. Off the faceoff, Plattsburgh trying to move it around. It comes to Tommy Post. Post ahead to Bigelow. Bigelow doesn't get it out of the zone. It's backhanded right back in by Bebo. Now Post in the corner again, trying to move it out. Head man to Morris. Jake breaks it. Here comes Jake feeding Cameron, breaking down the left wing side. He's got to step back to Morris. Morris trying to feed Bigelow, but it's intercepted there by Bebo. And Bebo and Bigelow go into the corner. Bebo, Morris throws a check. Bigelow comes up with a loose puck, centers it to Cameron. It's knocked down, bouncing around. And finally, Bebo picks it up, slides it ahead to Bucci. Marco Bucci across the blue line. His drive high over the net. Whistles around the boards, and it comes to Bigelow. He breaks it out again. It goes off a leg right on. The save made by Dandro. He's going to leave it in the corner for his defenseman, Mike Dahl. Now Dahl jams for it, along with Bigelow, and Bigelow comes away with a puck, circles in behind, centering pass goes just in behind the net. Again, now it's Cameron trying to go to Morris. Jake circles, back to Cameron, behind the net, in the Plattsburgh zone. Cameron for Messina, Bigelow, the give and go, comes right free in front, but it's knocked down by a defenseman, and Plattsburgh breaks it out of there. Here comes Bucci again, his shot from center ice, and the save made as both teams are making changes. In behind the net, Todd Manning starts out for Messina. Headman pass to Tommy Moore, left wing side. Moore's going to dump it in the Plattsburgh zone. In the corner it goes. Picked up by the Hornets as they try to clear it. It comes to Corey Lucas. Lucas headman to a centerman, Sherman. Sherman feeding the wing, Lattinville. Lattinville in on the right wing side. He's got Barkley on him. Barkley tries to tie. Foshe comes in to help out. And the puck squirts free slot. Here's Sherman shot. Knocked down by a sprawling Labarge. And that goes up into the stands. And we'll have a faceoff with 9.53 remaining in period number one. And it's 0-0 on the Corky's collision scoreboard. As he did so many times last year, number 22, Jason Labarge, sacrificing the body. And he did that time. He stepped right into a big slap shot by the Plattsburgh center. And I think he might have taken it off the knee. And he's uh, gingerly going to the bench. Uh, Ouch. Off the faceoff, high circle in the Messina zone. It comes to Barkley, flips around the board for post, comes up to McCrack, and he whacks it behind him out to center ice. Bouncing puck at the red line. Still bouncing, controlled by post. Post flips it ahead for McCrack and across the blue line. Nice move. Here's McCrack and looking to move it through. It's deflected back to the point. But Fauché follows up into the corner. He had Tommy Moore breaking. Now he tries to feed it to Moore in the corner, but Latinville is there to pick it up for the Hornets and flip it out to center ice. Goes to the Messina line. Tommy Post, bounce pass ahead, Fauché. McCracken breaks in on the right wing side. In the corner, looking, looking to pass. McCracken steps by the D. He feeds it in the high slot, but it's intercepted. Back to the point. Here's Barkley's shot. Bounces into the corner, off a leg. And coming back for it is Eric Reed. We have a whistle. And we're going to have a penalty, I believe. Our yes, and I, a good call, I believe. The... I'm not mistaken, this one's going to go on Plattsburgh, and he dumped Tommy Moore trying to pick up the number, number 14, and that's uh, Scott Luckin, and uh, that is classified as a real dumb penalty. The play is on the far side of the ice, and uh, Plattsburgh's got control, and Luckin just uh, uh, dumped to Tommy Moore for no reason, and the official, the far side official, right there, and uh, no question about it. Uh, so the Raiders uh, on the power play and uh, with the Jake Morris line. So it's going to be Jake out there with Bigelow and Cameron, Post and Labarge. So Jason's okay, which is good news. Off the faceoff, Bigelow in the corner. He gets railed into the boards, but he moves it back to Morris anyway. Jake with a puck now goes to Tommy Post. Post back to Morris at the 45, left of the goalie. Hentering pass goes to Labarge, and he missed it. And back comes Plattsburgh, uh, partial two-on-one, breaking into the zone. Here's the shot, and Gritty makes the save on Boutier. Now the puck squirts free, and Jason Labarge picks it up. Out to center ice, steps by the D. He's going to lug it in the zone. Here's Labarge stopping at his point position, looking to pass it to Morris. Morris goes to post. Post, back to Morris, left, back to post, out by the blue line to Labarge at the 45. He steps back to the blue line with a puck. To post, post, goes to Morris at the 45, left side of the goalie. Here's Morris stepping in the corner. It goes to Bigelow. Morris right in front. He's too deep. Can't get the shot off. Has to circle. Goes back to Labarge. Labarge, the big drive, deflected, hits the post. Puck comes in behind the net. And it's Bigelow over to Cameron. Cameron drops back to Bigelow, right corner. Back to the point it goes. Labarge takes the shot, goes to post, post at the left point. His drive through traffic, hit the side of the net. Puck goes in the corner, back to post at the point. He steps in, winds up. His shot is blocked by a sprawling Plattsburgh defenseman up into the stands. 
And we're down to 14 seconds left in the power play, 7.51 in the period. Plattsburgh willing to give up the outside and uh, make sure to, to control inside the uh, in front of their goaltender, uh, Rob Dandrew. And the Raiders moving the puck around exceptionally well. And Jake Morris, uh, which makes him the thing that makes him such an outstanding hockey player, not only his speed, but he is able to see the whole ice surface at all times. And he can pick out that loose man. And the Raiders just... Oh, they had a beautiful play. Uh, Jake sent it back to Jason Labarge, and he whistled a low one. And Chris Cameron standing in front deflected it, and beautiful deflection, but it hit the goal post. So uh, we'll give the post a save on that one off the faceoff. We've got uh, Messina's third line, the Bobby Whitcup line out there. It goes to Labarge. His shot is wide. Whistles around to the other point. Aaron Barkley steps into it. Takes it to the 45. Back to the point now. Whitcup fakes the shot. The penalty is up. Here's Whitcup getting the rebound. Knocking it down in front is uh, Kellison to Whitcup. His backhander goes wide. Good chance there for Messina. Back to the point. Barkley again flips it in behind the net. After it is Bobby Whitcup. Whitcup trying to center it. It's knocked down. Comes back to the point. Circling around and picking it up there is Sean Rasco. Rasco loses to Eddie Davis. We have a whistle. And hand pass, Jerry. Hand pass is the call. That time, uh, Bobby uh, Whitcup circled the net, and uh, the Hornets were jammed in front, and uh, Bobby elected to go in front. Uh, that time when uh, the uh, defense is collapsing back towards the middle when uh, they're getting a lot of pressure put on them, what you've got to do is then look up and pick out the points, and uh, Bobby elected to go to the middle. Uh, possibly if he had to do it over again, he would have uh, slid it back to the wide-open uh, strong side pointman. Off the faceoff, Fauche's line out there now, dropping it to post in the Messina zone, ahead to McCracken, back to Fauche. He breaks two on one for Messina. He's got Tommy Moore. Big defensive play made by Scott Luckin. Excellent play. Puck in the corner now. Fauche to McCracken. He can't get the shot off, and back comes Plattsburgh. Sean Rasco. Rasco across the blue line. Here's Rasco. He gets upended. The puck squirts free. Tommy Moore. Moore looks to headman it. It's intercepted at center ice, but McCracken comes up with a loose puck. Here's Scotty with a his pass intercepted. Tommy Moore tries to follow. And it's back out to center ice where Fauche picks it across the blue line. Here's Joey in the high slot. His shot goes off a body and into the corner. I think that went off McCracken, to be honest with you. Back to the point it comes. Here's the drive by Manning right on the save made. And the puck picked up by Eric Reed. He's going to dump it up into the stands. And we'll have a face-off, a real, real good opportunity. Several of them there for Messina. I tell you, well, there's 6:30 left in the period, and it's been all Raiders here. They've just been uh, just dominating this first period. But again, the puck is not bouncing. Uh, they fire the shot from the point, and like uh, against Potsdam the other night, uh, the the Sonners it, it found a way. And here it's hitting the goalpost, hitting off a leg. But Messina's dominating this period right now. Here's Manning's shot, knocked down. Morris, Morris picks it up. His quick drive, the save made by Dandro. And he's going to cover it up. That puck came right off the faceoff back to Todd Manny. He took the quick wrist shot, and he hit Jake Morris in the back of the skate, but the puck stayed there. Morris picked it up and got another shot. Coach uh, Don Pomeroy was telling me before the game that uh, he had a veteran defenseman, a uh, defensive core. Uh, they do not look sharp uh, this opening period, Jerry. Here's Manning back to post, but it's out to center ice. Tommy has to circle back. Here's Post in his own end, flipping it ahead for Cameron. Cameron to Morris. Morris trying to step by the defense, and he comes up with a puck in the corner. Morris still has it. Here's Jake with it. He's got Cameron in the slot, but it goes back to the point. Here's Manning. Manning looks, fakes, nice move. Here's Manning, the big drive, the save, the rebound. They jam, and covering up is Rob Dandro. And I'll tell you what, Todd Manning just made a real nice play. Uh, an excellent play by Todd Manning. He faked the pass across uh, to his defensive partner. The uh, Plattsburgh forechecker came out on him. Todd just hesitated. The, the Plattsburgh forechecker went down, and he stepped right around him. A nice move by Todd Manning. Beautiful shot uh, through traffic, nice low shot, but uh, Rob Dandro got the big left pad out there and was able to control the rebound. Nice job by Rob Dandro and by uh, Todd Manning. Bobby Whitcomb's line out now against the Boutsier line. Off the faceoff, the puck controlled by Dingman, who flips it out to center ice. After Whitcup ahead to Kellison. Kellison gets railed but flips the puck in the corner. Back there is Luckin. Luckin feeds it in behind for Eric Reed. Around the boards it goes. Now a uh, big check thrown there by Barkley, but the puck squirts free. And here comes Plattsburgh breaking out. Here's Eric Reed, his shot, and Javier Gritty makes the save, loses the puck, but it's behind the net. Now it's underneath him, and Whitka picks it up. Bouncing back to the blue line. Into the corner it goes. Davis takes a whack at it. It comes free, and it comes back in behind the net for Eric Barkley. Uh, Aaron Barkley, excuse me. Barkley ahead to Eddie Davis. He breaks down the left wing. Now he comes to the middle, takes it across. Here's Davis, the quick wrist shot. Big save, and the puck goes just wide of the net. And Davis was there, and he couldn't get a stick on it. Now the puck in the corner. Flipped around. Davis racing for it again. 
He and uh, Luck Luckin go together. Davis falls on top of it. We have a whistle, and we're going to have a faceoff inside Plattsburgh territory. And again, a big chance that goes for naught. Oh, a uh, nice move by uh, Eddie Davis, a super move, uh, took the pass on the fly and shifted by the defenseman uh, at the blue line and got off a nice wrist shot uh, that almost handcuffed uh, Dandro, but and, uh, Eddie followed up on it. Another nice thing I like to saw, Eddie got railed after, and his line mate, uh, Bobby Whitcup, came to his aid. Bobby came about the waist of this big defenseman who knocked uh, Eddie Davis down, but Bobby just charged into him and said, hey, you're not going to do that to my buddy. <laughs> off the face of Joey Fauché's line out now against the Sherman line. It comes to Fauché in behind the net. Looks to wrap it right in front. McCracken. Oh, he fired it wide. Wide open in the slot. Here's Tommy Moore. Whoa, he got railed in the corner by Dingman. Now McCracken whistles it around to Fauché in the corner. Fauché just gets creamed, and the puck breaks out to center ice. Now Messina controls Manning. Manning ahead to Moore. His pass intercepted. The puck bounces around. Fauché takes a whack at it. It's taken away from him, comes free, picked up by Rasco. He can't get the shot off as Tommy Post there to break it up. And McCracken picks up the loose puck going down the ice, one on two. Here's McCracken waiting for his wings, feeds right in front, Tommy Moore. He puts it upstairs over the net. Now McCracken in behind the net looking for it. He jams along with Dahl. McCracken centers it, but it's cleared back to the blue line and out to center ice. We have a whistle, and we're going to have, well, we got a man down, McCracken. I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, he, uh, I think he was trying to... Uh... Uh, help the official on making a call. The Plattsburgh player <laughs> <laughs> cleaned his skates out from under him, but uh, the official wasn't buying it. And Scotty, uh, Scotty did. I would give him about a seven, seven, eight on that one. But oh, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> he didn't uh, didn't get the call. But again, uh, all three lines that uh, Messina puts out there are just moving the puck super well, head manning it, passing that puck, and it's. I just feel it's a matter of time that they're going to uh, cash one in here, Jerry. Jake Morris, flipping it ahead now. Puck intercepted, comes back to the Messina blue line. Labarge with it. Jason now circles in his own end, looking for his winger. He finds Cameron. Here's Cameron, goes for Bigelow. Bigelow has, was kind of ahead of it. He had to come back out, and Plattsburgh dumps it to the Messina line. Here comes Labarge now circling in his own end. Whoa, he almost lost it there, but Morris is there to help out. Jake starts it. Here comes Morris, building up ahead of steam. Takes it across the blue line, left wing side, has it poked away. Puck bouncing around, and it comes back to the blue line and out to center ice. And Labarge is there. Feeds it ahead. And back down the ice it goes. That'll be an icing call on Messina. As Bigelow was trying to feed, I'm not sure who he was trying to hit, but somebody was breaking down the ice and it went too far, and icing will be the call. He's trying to find his left wing. Chris Cameron was busting okay. down on that uh, the far side. And after the play, uh, Chris Cameron, who's a, he's a 5'11", 160, 165 pounds, uh, just uh, had a collision with uh, uh, Scott uh, uh, Lomplin, the uh, Luckin, the big defenseman, and uh, Luckin came off on the short end of that one. Okay, we've got Whitcomb's line out now against the Bootsier line. That's not how it's spelled, but that's how it's pronounced. I had to check on that one. <laughs> It looks like Boudelette, but it's pronounced Boutsier. Off the face, off, puck in the circle, Messina end. Tommy Post trying to get it out. Here's a chance. Boutsier shot. He fires it wide. And the puck comes in behind the net. It's flipped into the corner by Garitti. Now a hard check thrown by Post on Boutsier. Boutsier center goes back to the point now. Here's Mike Dahl. His shot through traffic goes off a leg into the corner. Now a hard check thrown as Kellison comes up with a loose puck. Oh, boy, he put it right across the goal mouth. Fortunately, just Red Raiders there. And Manning flips it up into the Messina bench, and we'll have a face-off. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we have a line change here. Well, that's the thing I wanted to talk about before, uh, and, and it's happened to Freddie a couple times and, and to the defense. And uh, When you're in your own end under pressure like that, you don't have to come out of your own end clean all, all the time. Sometimes you just have to clear the zone. And uh, a couple of times, or uh, several times, the Raiders have been guilty of that, trying to come out of their own zone when there's no possible way. The opposition, there are two or three of them between uh, point A and B where you want to pass the puck so you just have to clear the zone uh, and uh, off the face off Tommy Moore head man pass goes off a leg to the blue line of Plattsburgh still in the zone following up his Fauché in on the left wing centering pass right across the goal mouth Tommy Moore whacks at it still whacks at it and it comes into the corner and Mike Dahl I think the goaltender uh, Dandro got a piece of that pass now the puck into the Messina zone Gritty way out of his net to feed it into the corner picked up there by Rasco Rasco digging for it along with McCracken. Now Post steps in there. He can't control it. Back to the point. Here's a shot. Gritty gloves it and holds on a weak shot from Mike Dahl at the left point. And we'll have a face-off in the Messina zone. 
And we're down to 215 left in the first period on the Corky's Collision scoreboard, still 0-0. Zero, zero. I think about uh, Javier Gritty, the uh, Raiders goaltender. He handles that uh, stick exceptionally well, Jerry. He handles, uh, you know, and that's important for a goaltender. Uh, they have to be able to, in fact, uh, goaltenders have drills where they, they stick handle the puck and they lift the puck, they raise the puck. and uh, he Here's a shot right well. off the face off. The rebound right in front, just wide. Good chance for Plattsburgh there. Now it comes to the side of the net, and it's controlled by Jake Morris. That was the best chance Plattsburgh's had in this hockey game. They made the uh, initial save, but then the second chance was a great opportunity, but it was fired wide. Now the puck across the blue line. We got a delay off sides called, but Messina clears the zone. Now Bigelow after it at the blue line, throws a check. Morris picks up the loose puck, trying to center it to Cameron. He couldn't get it to him as the pass was blocked there by Reed. Back to the point. It comes to Bigelow now. Bigelow trying to flip it off the boards. Barkley. Barkley shovels it toward the net. Goes in behind to the side of the net. Bigelow after it there. Right side of the goalie. Bigelow in the circle. His shot wide across the goal mouth. Labarge steps in now trying to keep it in the zone. Bigelow into the fray. Left side of the goalie in the corner. Bigelow jams for it with Reed. They both still fight for it. It comes to Morris. Squirts free. Morris now circles into the corner. Looking to pass. No, he's going to keep it. Now he drops it back to the point and Barkley can't hold it in. Kind of a bouncer there. Barkley's going to drop it over to Labarge. Jason catches the pass, flips it ahead for Bigelow. He lets it go to the Plattsburgh line. Headman pass. Knocked down into the Messina zone as both teams will make changes here. We're down to a minute remaining in the first period on the Corky scoreboard 0-0. Headman pass right on the stick of Foshe. It's knocked away, though, and controlled right back to Foshe. He steps across the blue line, takes it in the zone. Here's Joey with it, trying to get the shot off. He does, and it goes just wide on the bouncer. And Tommy Moore can't control it in the corner. It's picked up by Mike Dahl. Dahl's going to flip it around the glass. Racing in is Tommy Post. He goes in the corner. Foshe. Foshe trying to circle it back to Post. The puck bounces off a player. They jam for it. And it squirts free to Dahl in the corner for Plattsburgh. He's going to take it out left side of his own goalie. Long headman pass. Hits his centerman, Sherman. Sherman trying to hit his wing, but it goes into the corner. It was meant for Lattonville. Lattonville and Manning both go down in the corner. Is the puck still free? Now it's tied up. And with 19 seconds left, we're going to have a faceoff in the Messina zone. And still 0-0 on the Corky scoreboard. One thing that's evident, and we uh, we won't hold this to be true throughout the season, but this first period anyway, uh, Jerry, the uh, uh, the Hornets cannot match up uh, with the Raiders' uh, uh, skating speed-wise. They're just about a half a step uh, behind, uh, especially the defense. I'm I'm somewhat surprised. Uh, Coach Pomeroy uh, said the key to his club would be his, his goaltending and his veteran defenseman, but they they seem to be again in this first period a half a step slow. 19 seconds left. Uh, Messina definitely with a better part of play here, but uh, nothing to show for it as of yet. Off the faceoff, the puck comes to Aaron Barkley. Barkley flips around the boards for McCracken. McCracken turns, starts out right side, bounce pass, Foshe. It's knocked down, but Joey picks it up. Here's Joey. What is it? Uh, they're going to call off sides on that? Uh-oh. That he, was... <laughs> he had a partial break, and they called off sides, and they, they, uh, that was an interesting call. That was a close one, but... Uh... Again, he's right down. We've got a good vantage spot, but he's right down on the line, and uh, we'll defer to him. <laughs> I agree with you, though, Jerry. Face off just outside, Plattsburgh territory. Off the draw, the puck bounced into the zone with five seconds left. Dumped down the ice. That'll be an icing call if it gets far enough, and it does with one second left. And uh, Jake... Uh, well, we'll see who's out there to take the face off, but he'd have to score from the face off. Well, it's possible. That could be more than a second, Jerry. You know how those. Uh, That's and right. Let's see if the Raiders are going to pull the goaltender. Javier is looking towards the bench, but uh, uh, Coach Moore said, no, I guess not with one second. But uh, if there was like two or well, three. Well, even so, uh, I'd, uh, you know, have a, nothing to lose, but he's, he's got a left handed shot. I'd put a right handed shot. Oh, they drew it back. Uh, less than a. Maybe it was less than a second, too. <laughs> okay. So we played a period here, and. Uh, on the Corky's Collision scoreboard, there's no scores. A couple of goose eggs. Uh, Messina definitely with a better part of play in that first period. And uh, they have nothing to show for it, however, as uh, both uh, Rob Dandro and the goalpost came up pretty big. Uh, just waiting for the, uh, the official announcement on shots on goal. It hasn't come down yet. But uh, the territory will play a wide margin of, of, of play uh, for, the, uh, for the Raiders. Uh, you know, they just, I thought they looked super out there. And all three lines uh, uh, really moved the puck well. Once, once they gained the zone, they kept, 
uh, sustained pressure on uh, Plattsburgh. Uh, on the other side of the coin, once uh, the Hornets came down, they got that initial shot, and uh, they didn't weren't able to, sus to sustain any pressure. Messina was able to clear the zone, but a very good period. But again, uh, it's going to give them confidence, but the main thing is to look up on the scoreboard, and it's 0-0, zero, zero, Jerry. Well, you know, uh, as you mentioned, if they can maintain this kind of pressure and this, this kind of intensity, the goals are going to come. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they just uh, have not been able to catch a break uh, so far in the two league games. Uh, I thought they had some good chances in that Potsdam game as well and uh, were unable to score. Here, uh, I don't know if it's so much uh, Robbie Dandrell's playing uh, real well. He's made a couple of good saves, but, uh, you know, you've got the goalpost. You've got uh, opportunities that went just wide, opportunities that could have happened that didn't. And uh, as a result, it's still 0-0. Plattsburgh with one real good scoring opportunity, a shot taken from about 15 feet, and Gritty made the initial save. It looked like he had the rebound underneath him, but it came squirting out. And uh, the Plattsburgh player streaking in picked it up and just fired it wide. You mentioned we know that those goals are going to come eventually. The coaching staff and they'll. But you know we're dealing again with youngsters here. They uh, they're they're not like uh, seasoned professionals uh, that uh, you know they know they'll shoot enough and the law of averages are going to go in. Sometimes uh, youngsters get down in a hurry. And you just got to keep reminding them shoot the puck, shoot the puck. It'll start going our way. The bounces will start. Uh, are, are they haven't caught it in the three games that we've seen uh, Messina play this year. They haven't caught that break yet. But That's I right. know what's going to happen. Oh, that's right. But a good period of hockey. Uh, they came out right from the right from the opening whistle and uh, looked impressive out there. No question. Our officials in various sports. That, it's a it, it's a, it's a tough task. Oh, uh, you're oh. you're only right to 50 percent of the time and uh, you know well, that's... no 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 you're never right yeah you know <laughs> yeah. for one group of fans you're never right that's true you know yeah. whoever you make the call against uh, you're wrong so you know we, we really uh, appreciate the work that they do obviously without officials we couldn't have these games that's right and uh, for the amount of money they get it's the love of the game and uh, <laughs> that's overall sure. they they do a, a, a outstanding job well, we're ready to start the second period off the faceoff. Puck to the Messina line, the Morris line out there against the Bebo line. And here comes Jake across the blue line in the Plattsburgh zone. Centering pass to Bigelow goes by and back to the point. Labarge's shot knocked down in the circle. They jam at it. Bigelow, Jake Morris shot, fired it wide. What a chance for Messina and Jake fired it wide. Now the puck still kicks free. It comes to Bigelow. He can't control it in behind the net. He jams for it with Luckin. And the puck goes into the corner. Bigelow comes away with it somehow. Centering pass. Morris shot. Save. Rebound. Score! And Jake finally put it home. He got the first shot. The save made by Dandro. And Jake, second, the rebound. Upstairs. Messina goes up. One to nothing. Jake was probably going to get a little frustrated. He, uh, he was in close from 15 feet before uh, the... Uh, Plattsburgh defense coughed up the puck, came out to Jake, and he had him point blank, and he fired it wide. But uh, the Raiders were persistent, and Jeff Bigelow uh, dug the puck out of the corner and uh, put it out to Jake. As you said, he fired the first one, and, and uh, Dandro made the save, but the rebound came right back. And he had Dandro down on his knees, and this one he tucked upstairs to the, uh, to the glove side. That's got to read Morris from Bigelow, I would think. Here comes the official. Jake Morris gets his first goal of the year. Oh, Cameron also picks up an assist, so uh, it will be the line getting the goal. Well, that's good because that line was buzzing down inside, and uh, uh, so you both uh, both line mates uh, pick up an assist, Jeff Bigelow and Chris Cameron and uh, Jake Morris uh, getting the Raiders on the board first. I think uh, Cameron ought to thank the scorer. I don't know that he touched that puck, but hey, what the heck. Here comes the Plattsburgh Hornets into the Messina zone. A shot, weak shot, right on save, rebound in the corner. And that's one of those that kind of found its way through. A seeing-eye shot was weak, but Gritty had to be quick to kick the pad out and make the save. And Messina clears his own long rink-wide pass. Goes to McCracken. He races in the corner. Dahl takes him into the boards and then comes away with a puck. Flips it around the boards for his winger, Bucci, as that first line for Plattsburgh still out there. Oh, hard check thrown by McCracken. Right in front, Foshave all by himself. The shot. Right on, the save made, and it goes back to the post at the slot. His shot saved, rebound more. Shot another save by Dandro, and Messina is buzzing, and Joey Fauché is going to see that one in his sleep as he was all by himself about four feet in front of the goalie and shot it right at him. Oh, and Scott McCracken made the play. He just leveled the uh, Plattsburgh defenseman uh, and just knocked him down and took the puck away from him and slid it out to Joey, who was uh, probably 12 feet parked right in front of uh, of Rob Dandrew, and, and uh, Joey got the shot away, got a good shot, but he put it right on uh, Rob Dandrew. Good, excellent chance, and then the the rebound came out a second later, and uh, Tommy Moore had an excellent scoring opportunity off to Rob Dandrew's right and couldn't put it home. Faceoff will come to the right side of uh, goaltender Rob Dandro as the messina Whitcup line comes out. Whitcup out there with Eddie Davis and Fred Kellison. 
Jerry, the official, uh, that was that goal came at the 28 second mark. Jake Morris from Jeff Piglo and Chris Cameron. I hear the phone ringing. Maybe they're going to make a change on that goal. I don't know. I think it was should have should have read Morris from Bigelow, and that's it. But uh, we'll see. Face off right side. We're still waiting for the draw. The official over talking to the scorer, and I think uh, they are looking up here to the uh, to the press box. I don't know what uh, doesn't. Uh, I don't know for an assist. I don't think they'd hold up the game uh, that much. Uh, no, no. They, they have some mechanical problems with the clock. No, we're ready to go. Off the face off, Bigelow, after it in the corner, bounce pass to himself. He's got two men on him and comes away with a puck anyway. Here's Bigelow looking in the corner, still has it. He gets jammed into the boards, gets knocked down, gets back up, gets knocked down again, knocks down the opposition, loses his stick, and Plattsburgh comes away with a puck, breaking out of the zone. Here comes the, the uh, Reed, the big defenseman, but he's going to be offsides. Or actually, he wasn't. His... Uh, partner was offsides. That was Zach Zuckerman moving in on the left side and he was offsides. The whistle blows the face off and move outside Messina's zone. A common mistake not only in high school but you see it right up in the professional level. Uh, you got uh, puck carrier coming down. He's got a wing breaking on the far side. And just as that puck carrier reaches the blue line he does a little shift, decides to go left or right just by a fraction but that's all it takes to draw your line mate offside. Uh, you don't know why he didn't gain the zone to make that shift but he didn't. Off the faceoff, Messina controls. Eddie Davis has it poke checked away at the blue line of Plattsburgh, following up his post to backhanded in the zone. And Scott Luckin moves it ahead to the blue line. And Manning lifted his own teammate's stick. He got a little bit crossed up there, and the puck slides to the Messina zone. And it's controlled by the uh, Plattsburgh. The shot right on Gritty makes the save, and the loose puck picked up by Manning. Here comes Manning now breaking out of the zone. He takes it across into Plattsburgh territory, tries to get by Reed, but it's taken away from him by Bebo. Bebo's headman to Bucci. Bucci across the blue line, slides it through in the slot into the corner. It goes off a leg. Now Whitcup throws a check. It comes back to the point. Reed, Reed skates into the slot. He fires it wide. Big chance for Plattsburgh. Puck comes free right in front to Whitcup, and he picks up the loose puck and feeds it ahead to Eddie Davis. Davis can't clear the zone, but following up on the play is Manning. Manning ahead to Whitcup. He's offside, or that's Davis, I should say. And a little bit of a mismatch as Plattsburgh managed to get their first line out against the Messina third line. And uh, there are a couple of mix-ups in the Messina zone and some good scoring opportunities for the Hornets. What happened, uh, the Raider defense got caught up uh, up ice on a rush. And, uh, again, uh, when you've got those forwards up ahead of you, and I, I think Coach Dan Moore is now talking to the, to the young defenseman, you pass him the puck, you head man it to your forwards. Your job as a defenseman, uh, uh, not as a goal scorer. And uh, he's uh, giving him a bit of advice right now, I think. O'Shea line out there for Messina. Into the zone it comes. Here comes an opportunity for Corey Lucas. He centers it. It goes right on off LaBarge's leg. And uh, Gritty, not a problem, but he's going to cover it up and hold on for the faceoff. Again, learning mistakes that time. The uh, Plattsburgh uh, forward, uh, uh, I'm not sure, at number eight, uh, Sherman, uh, uh, came to the Messina defenseman and, and threw the puck on the boards behind him. And the defenseman turned and looked at the puck. That situation, you want to play the man strictly. Never mind the puck. Just take that man out of the play. Off the faceoff, Barkley with it from Messina. Headman to Tommy Moore on the wing, looking for McCracken. It goes by him. That'll be, no, they waved the icing off. He must have touched it. McCracken picks it up in behind the net. He's ridden into the boards, and the puck bounces in the corner. McCracken picks up the loose puck. We got a delay penalty on Plattsburgh. Joey Foshe, high slot, picks it up, skates it, circles. Messina gets their goalie off. And we got a man advantage from Messina right now. Here's the drive deflected right on the rebound. They jam at it just wide, poke it, and it's still wide of the net. Dandro kept it out somehow. Messina did everything but score that time. And with 11.40 left on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, it remains one to nothing, Messina. Listen, that sh uh, Jerry, that shot came back to the... Puck came back to the point, and Aaron Barkley unleashed a low shot, and there were two deflections on that play. Tommy Moore and Jason Labarge both redirected it, and still Rob Dandro was able to make the save. A great save by Rob Dandro. And uh, let's see what the penalty. The penalty is going to go against Eric Reed. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I think that is Eric Reed. And we'll see what the call is for. And I'll tell you, a Raider that's really having a big game out here in the first uh, period in a little bit. Uh, he's, he's come to play like he does every night. But uh, Scott McCracken is, uh, is having a, a big game for the Raiders so far. Face off left side. Messina on the power play now. Morris's line out there. Off the draw. Puck right on. The save made by Dandro. Almost lost it. And it's swept around the boards. Labarge trying to stay with it. He does. Keeps it in the zone. It comes to... Right in front, rather, to Cameron. He tries to slide it through. It's knocked down, and Plattsburgh clears it down the ice. 
Here comes Tommy Post. I didn't, still didn't catch what the penalty was for, but it doesn't really matter. Here's, here's uh, Bigelow feeding it in behind Plattsburgh net. Jake Morris follows it in the corner. Morris circles around, left side of the goalie, high face-off circle, back to LaBarge, left point. Here's LaBarge, cross-ice pass goes to Tommy Post. Post shoots, and it's knocked down in the corner. Bigelow with it. 50 seconds left in the power play. Bigelow, give and go. Morris to the point. Post, post, over to LaBarge. LaBarge fakes the shot, goes back to Post. Post winds his drive, right on the save made. Rebound back to Post. He winds, he drives it again. Another save. Rebound comes free. Jake Morris, he fired it wide. He had the hole open at the shoot at. And the puck comes free to Cameron. Cameron in the high slot. Bigelow, his shot. Kick save made. Puck in the corner to Morris. Morris back to the point. Here's Post. Back to Morris in the corner. Cross ice pass goes to LaBarge. LaBarge fakes the shot. Looks, feeds it, Morris, his shot, score! Jake Morris on a beautiful pass from Jason LaBarge, and Messina goes up 2 to nothing on the power play, and you could see that one coming. And the key, Jerry, as you said, a beautiful pass from Jason LaBarge. The puck went into the corner just after Jake had missed a golden scoring opportunity. He was taken heavily into the boards, but before he went down, he threw the puck back to the point to Tommy Post, who put it across to his teammate, Jason LaBarge, on this side. Jason looked, 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 started skating towards the center of the uh, of the ice, and he saw down on the far side where the uh, Plattsburgh defense completely neglected him. Jake Morris, probably about 15 feet out, parked with a stick down in the ice. Jason LaBarge found him with a great pass, and Jake one timed it, and it was in 2 nothing Messina. So Messina gets their second goal on the power play, and uh, it's two to nothing on the Pete Schuler scoreboard for the Messina Red Raiders. Off the faceoff, we're going to have an offsides called on Messina, and uh, we'll face it off just outside Plattsburgh territory. We are down to uh, 10 minutes and 12 seconds left to go in period number two. You're listening to Messina Red Raider Hockey on the Spirit of the North Country, WMSA, Messina, New York. Off the face. Eddie Davis has the Whitcup line out there. Davis shovels it into the zone, comes to the side of the net. Reed picks it up, has it poked away, bouncing back to the blue line, kept in by Manning, trying to feed to an open wing, and the puck bouncing around. Finally, Rasko picks it up. He has it poke checked away by Whitcup. Whitcup stays with it, trying to get up, but Dandro gets to it first. The goalie flips it to Reed, and Reed starts it down the ice, and it slides into the Messina zone. Tommy Post is there to pick it up. Here's Post in behind the net, starts out right side. Post starts to lug it himself. He's going to carry it up ice for Messina, steps across the red line, flips it in right on, and Dandro has to make the save. Leaves it for Reed. Reed feeds his 45. They try to break it. It comes out to center ice. Manning gets a leg on it. Bouncing puck control there by nobody as it still bounces around, and finally it's picked up by Bucci. Bucci into the Messina zone, trying to slide it right on, but it goes across the goal mouth. Nobody there. Whitcup. Whitcup drop pass goes to LaBarge. LaBarge feeds over on the other side for Barkley. Barkley back to LaBarge in the corner, but it's going to come all the way around to Davis. Davis looking for LaBarge to help out. Puck bouncing around. Finally, it comes to Eddie Davis. He's going to lug it out to center ice, turning on the Jets. He's got Kellison with him. Partial to on one. He shoots it. Rebound. Kellison right in front. Can't get the handle. And the puck bounces free. Eddie Davis had a piece of it, couldn't find it. Now he gets a poke at it, right out by the blue line, keeps it in the zone, but Reed is back to come up with it, trying to bring it out to center ice. He lugs it to center. Here's a shot from center ice, and the save is made by Garitti. And most of the Plattsburgh shots have come from that range out at center ice. Yeah, in the first period, they had the shots 11-9 in favor of Messina. But as we said, a lot of those uh, Plattsburgh shots were, were long drifters. And, uh, and we wondered if how long Plattsburgh could hold off Messina if the, if the Raiders sustained the pressure that they had in that first period. And Messina came right out here in the second period. It's been picked up right where they left off. And this time they found that, that it twined twice. That last goal officially, Jake Morris from Jason LaBarge and Tommy Post was a power play goal at the 9.36 mark. Off the faceoff, puck bouncing in behind and Garitti reached out the glove and grabbed it and will face it off again. 8.44 remaining in period number two on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard. Messina leads two to nothing. Face off again right side. Fauché will draw for Massini. Draws it in behind the net. And it comes to Aaron Barkley. Barkley, head man of Tommy Moore. Moore circles now looking. Looking for McCracken. And it's intercepted at the last second. And back the other way comes Paul Sherman. Into the Messina zone. LaBarge is there. He hits the official with it. Comes back with it. Jams for it. Coming back is McCracken. Scotty, head man pass. Goes by Tommy Moore. They're going to call an icing on that. 
And that's one of those passes. Had it clicked, more would have been in, but it didn't. And icing the call, and back they go. And those are the type of passes you want to make. You can't say, well, I, you know, maybe if this doesn't click, it's going to be an icing. It's a bang bang decision, and you want to see, as a coach, you want to see your players make that type to the long lead pass, that head man pass, always moving the puck, moving it quickly. And uh, Messina's done that today. And uh, as we said, number 11 has really played big out there. Off the faceoff. The puck comes to Manning in behind the net. Whoa, as it poked away. Oh, throws a hard check. And the puck's still underneath. And Joey Foshe comes back to help out. And the recipient of that check, Corey Lucas, is getting up a little slowly as Manning is a big kid. Now the puck slides into Plattsburgh's own doll. Flips it around the boards, intercepting McCracken. Nice move, McCracken. Center pass. Tommy Moore right in front. Can't get the shot off. He's too deep. Circles it around. Centers it. Gets it back again. Off the Plattsburgh defenseman. Here's Tommy Moore. Moore looking. Feeds it to McCracken. It's intercepted. Trying to follow up is McCracken. He can't control it, but Foshe gets a piece of it and dumps it in behind the net. Now Plattsburgh's doll flips it high, way in the air. Manning stops it with his glove, comes up with it, feeds it ahead. We got delay off sides. They wave it off as Moore comes out. Here comes Tommy, trying to get by the check of Dahl. Tommy Moore in behind the net now. Looks to tie it up with Dahl. Now it squirts free. They jam for it, and it's still free. Now Foshe comes into the fray. Moore throws the check. Foshe comes up with a puck. He and Dahl tie up. And the puck finally pokes free to Paul Sherman. And Sherman's going to break out. And he gets it out to center ice. Just barely, though. Now here's Lattonville flipping it into the Messina zone. They want off. They've been out for a while. Gritty now around the boards for McCracken. McCracken loses it in front, but pokes it free. It comes in the high slot. McCracken blocks the shot. He made a little mistake, but he covered up for it. And now it's Tommy Post in behind the net. Post. Gets by some traffic, starts out, looking for Cameron, feeds on the pass, what a pass. Here comes Cameron, breaking through, has it poked at the last minute, but Bigelow steps off the bench, slides it free right in front, Cameron shot right across the goal mouth. Puck in the corner, Bigelow feeds to Cameron, here's Chris with it, to Bigelow behind the net. Jeff with a puck now, looking to center, right in front, Cameron shot, save, and a big one by Dandro on the deflection by Cameron. Puck to the blue line, out to center ice, back in by Barkley, but offsides will be called. And I'll tell you, that was very close to being another goal. Oh, what a shift by Chris Cameron. It's not over yet, but he had he made some several outstanding plays. Coming out of his own end, he found, he skated to the open ice, allowed his uh, winger to find him at the neutral zone, carried the puck, carried on into the offensive zone, had several outstanding scoring opportunities. And one thing about him, you notice him around the net, he's always got that stick down, and that's so important for a forward. Keep that stick down on the ice. Here's Jake Morris flipping it to Barkley in his own end as Boutsier's line out now for Plattsburgh. Puck comes to Jake. Jake feeds Labarge. Labarge breaking down the right wing side. He's going to drive it. Big save by Dandro. It comes to Cameron in the corner right side of the goalie. Chris circles. Morris, a shot right on. Save Dandro again. And he's going to cover up for the faceoff as Jeff Bigelow on the doorstep. Faceoff will be right side inside Plattsburgh territory. And Plattsburgh and Messina will both make changes here as the Bebo line comes out for Plattsburgh. And the uh, Bobby Whitcup line comes out for Messina. Wait a minute. Now they call him back. Uh, whose line is it going to be? Again, uh, Jerry, well, they're deciding on that line. Oh, it is going to be Whitcup's line. All right. Chris Cameron, what he did uh, in the game against Northwood uh, on that uh, tying goal, down in the corner this time, he dug the puck out and he looked up and found his teammate in the slot. Here's Eddie Davis in the slot now trying to slide it through. And the puck comes free to Whitcup in the corner now. Whitcup trying to go back to the point he does. Tommy Post. Post back to Whitcup. Whitcup gets his stick lifted, comes up with it anyway, tries to feed it through to Davis. Davis back to the point. Post does a good job to keep it in. Shovels it in the corner. Here's Kellis. A nice pass right in front. Whitcup. Shot. Score! Bobby Whitcup. Nice pass from Freddie Kellis. And Messina goes up 3 to nothing. What a goal. The Raiders gained the zone, kept it in, just tenacious forechecking. Freddie Kellison went in in the corner, stripped the puck away from the Plattsburgh defenseman, backhanded one out to Bobby Whitcup. Bobby's original shot was uh, the goaltender, Rob Dandro, made the save, but he picked up his own rebound and slid it under Dandro. 3 0 Raiders. So Messina coming up with a big goal there. Whitcup, uh, you got to, I don't know if Post will come up with a, an assist on that, but you got to give him one in our minds anyway because he did a great job to keep that puck in the zone. So it'll be Whitcup from uh, Kellison, and hopefully we'll see an assist there as well to uh, Tommy Post. Here comes Whitcup digging in the corner to Eddie Davis. A wraparound, nice save again by goaltender Dandro. He's been a busy boy in this second period. Puck in behind the net now. Marco Bucci with it, trying to feed it ahead. And it's 3-0 Messina on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard. Puck back to the blue line, out to center ice. Bucci 
Kind of overskates it. Whitcup gets a piece of it. It comes into the Messina zone. Right there is Kellison. We have a whistle. We're going to have a tripping call. And I do believe Messina will be penalized for the first time this afternoon. I think Tommy Post is going to pick up the tripping call. And Plattsburgh will go on the penalty with Messina leading on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard 3 to nothing. Tommy's questioning the official. He said it wasn't me. Maybe it was my, my teammate. Uh, but... Uh... I know he came out. I didn't see the trip, but he came flying out at the blue line trying to tattoo one of the uh, Plattsburgh forwards, and he missed him. But uh, maybe it was a previous infraction that you and I both missed. The official on the time on that uh, that last goal, uh, uh, Bobby Whitcup uh, at the, well, I can't pick up. It's a 14-11 mark, it looks like. Uh, uh, no, that doesn't, that's not right, Walter. It would be at the 9-11 yeah. mark. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Freddie Kellison and Tommy Post uh, did pick up the assist on that one, Jerry. Oh, so Tommy right. did get an assist. Well, that's good. I'm glad to see he got one. I didn't know if he would. Okay. Here's Plattsburgh on the power play. Messina out trying to kill it off. We've got Fauche out there along with McCracken and Labarge and Barkley. Plattsburgh uh, with their big line out, the Bebo line, as they try to get something going. Move it around right now. It's Rasco with it. Back to the point. They've got Bryce Dingman out there along with their big guy, Eric Reed. It comes in behind the net. They center right in front. Bucci shot. Where is it? It's in behind. Bucci's got it on his stick. Bucci now. Nobody picking him up. Flips it into the corner. They move it around. Back to Dingman at the point. He's going to wind it. His shot. Knocked down in front. And it comes to Fauche. And he's going to lug it out to center ice. Trying to feed ahead for McCracken. Offsides will be called on Messina. And we're down to 29 seconds left in the man advantage. And 4-12 in the second period, and on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, Messina leads 3-0. Jerry, you know, one of the keys offensively for uh, this uh, Plattsburgh Hornet Club is number 20, Marco Gucci, and you haven't called his name uh, that many times tonight. That shows you the type of defensive job that uh, Messina's done on, on Marco Gucci and that uh, Bobby and Roscoe line, and again, also the territorial play uh, that uh, the Raiders have had, uh, keeping him, you know, I don't... Uh, you haven't mentioned his name that many times. No, I haven't. You know, this first line, and they've been out many times now against Messina's third line as they're no longer matching lines at all. Okay, 20 seconds left in the power play. Plattsburgh's Reed controls it, poked away, and Jake turning on the speed. Here's Morris with it. He's got Bigelow trailing, gets by the D and fires it wide. He was in the process of falling down, but he put on a pretty good turn of speed right there, didn't he? Now the puck tied up in the corner. We got Bigelow with it, the guy all over him. Bigelow finally ridden out of the play, but comes back up with it. Looks to tie it up, move it around. One second, penalty is up, and the crowd, the Messina crowd, calling for a penalty, but the puck stolen by Labarge. Circles behind the net, looking, looking, into the high slot, and circles still. Here's Labarge with it, trying to center it right in front. It comes to Bigelow, he can't get the shot off, and finally it's picked up there by Sean Rasco. He gets knocked down by Bigelow. Now Labarge with it. Steps by a check. Here's Labarge in the corner. Circling. He gets tied up. Labarge stays with it somehow. Trying to get by a check. We got an interference. No, a holding call against Plattsburgh. Um, and the Messina crowd has been yelling for a penalty for about 15 seconds, 20 seconds. And finally, I think the refs heard him. Well, it's, it started with Jeff Bigelow. Uh, they were down a man, and Jeff entertained two Plattsburgh players, and they couldn't take the puck away from him. Finally, they got, a, got it away from him, and then Jason Labarge took over, and he, he carried on the show, and he was just as tough. They couldn't take it away from him. He took it from one, then another. Finally, they put the clutch on him, and uh, just a tremendous job by uh, Jeff Bigelow and Jason Labarge. They weren't going to be denied, I'll tell you. That's leadership out there. That, uh, that really picks up a club. Super job. I think that was Luckin getting the call for holding. And uh, Messina will go on the power play. Joey Fauche's line out there to start this power play off. Off the drive. Fauche can't control it. It's dumped down the ice. And Garitti is going to play it and leave it for Tommy Post. Messina now trying to set up a power play, leading 3 to nothing on the Pete scoreboard. Post will lug it out himself. Three minutes left to play in the second period. Here comes Post. Bounce pass. Fauche. Joey. Trying to get by the defense. He gets upended. Puck comes free, and it's dumped down the ice again. And again, it's going to be played by Javier Gritti. He leaves for Tommy Post. Post leaves for Fauche. Joey's going to take it this time. Long headman pass to McCracken. Bounces off his stick. He tries to chase it, and he gets railed, and the puck comes in the corner. Control there by Sherman for now Jake Morris on the ice for Messina. Back to the point. Pass intercepted. And it's dumped down the ice again. We're down to 40 seconds left in the power play. Long headman pass by Garitti out to center ice. McCracken. McCracken has a little problem finding the handle. Leaves it for Labarge. 
Now the puck comes to Labarge, a head man. It goes to Davis. He kind of fell over the blue line, but flips it in behind the net. Picked up there by Mike Dahl. Dahl ahead to center ice. It comes and down the ice. And we're down to 15 seconds. And Messina really hasn't been able to get organized on this power play in the least. Okay, here comes Whitcup. Head man, Kellison. Kellison takes it across, trying to split the D. The puck in the corner. Whitcup is there. Whitcup looks to drop. Back to the point it comes. The man is back for Plattsburgh, and he knocks it away. Here comes Plattsburgh down on ice. Here's Boutsier. Boutsier drop pass. Nobody home. Either he tried to drop it or he lost it, one or the other, and Messina clears it. Here comes Messina back the other way, two on one. Davis, Whitcup. Here's Whitcup. Davis, and he can't deflect, deflect it in. It comes just wide, but he comes up with a rebound. In the corner, Eddie Davis with it, circling. Looks for Whitcup behind the net. Whitcup looking, looking, wraps it around. Shot right on the save in the net. And Messina goes up on top, four to nothing. And this third line picks up another goal through good pass work and hard, hard work. Hard work is right. I think Freddie Kellison's going to get that one to Bobby Whitcup. Did yeoman work. The play started with the Hornets coming down on a three-on-one break. They caught the Raiders up ice, three-on-one. Uh, they didn't materialize. Bobby Whitcup picked up the puck in his own end, bounced it off the boards, passed the Plattsburgh defenseman, let him flat foot it, came in on a two-on-one. Bobby elected to pass to Eddie Davis with the defense when it was over playing him. He should have shot. The pass went off uh, Eddie's stick uh, behind the net, but Bobby went in and picked it up, uh, circled behind, came out from behind the net, and found Freddie Kellison. I'm sure they'll give it to Freddie, put it right on his stick, and he uh, slammed it by, uh, by Rob Dandrill. Big goal, nice goal by that Raider unit, uh, third unit. Off the faceoff, puck in the Messina zone. Swept away by Post, controlled by the Hornets. Poke check back to the point. Here's an opportunity. The shot right on. Gritty makes the save and holds on. And uh, Plattsburgh, uh, Jeff Lattenville was in on Gritty. He gave him a little shot. And because of that, uh, a couple of the Raiders came in. I think we're going to have matching minors here. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know if he's going to get one, but he should. Number 20, Marco Bucci, uh, a clip to Tommy Post uh, right in the head with his stick. Uh, I believe it's number, it was 20 out there. Yeah. Jerry, uh, yeah, that happened after this penalty was yeah. called, and the referee had his back turned and oh, didn't see it. Oh, boy, but the other one I uh, should have picked it up because I think everybody here in the rink saw it. A uh, little frustration. Uh. So matching minors will be the call here, and uh, Bucci, or I should say uh, Latinville, will go off along with uh, Tommy Post. On that last goal, uh, Walter's checking out the assist, but uh, so far it's uh, Freddie Kellison from... Uh, from Bobby Whitcup at the 13:46 mark. Here we come, I think, while they're on the, uh, they're going to call it up right now. Matching minors. That's what the call is. Uh, roughings, probably. It certainly well, was roughing. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, uh, that's a good call by the officials. But I, I think that he missed uh, the second. The he one missed afterwards. the second one. Uh, yeah. And I hate to see that, uh, especially with the stick and where he hit him right behind the head. Uh, there's no reason for that. Uh, it's uncalled for. And that's just a little bit of frustration. But still, those things should not happen in a high school hockey game, in any hockey game. 102 left to go in the second period. And on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, the Messina Red Raiders lead the Flatsburg High School Hornets 4 to nothing. So big uh, four-goal outburst here in the second period. You know, we talked between periods. Uh, we're beginning to look like uh, prophets here, Dave. We said, Messina keeps the pressure up, the goals will come. Well, they've kept the pressure up, the goals the came. The goals started to come, and uh, we mentioned about not catching a bounce. Uh, they, they've caught a couple. The puck has bounced their way, but it's just been tremendous pressure uh, They from, from the opening whistle. They've uh, come out and said, hey, uh, that was a tough loss the other night. We, uh, we want to show uh, our fans and our coaching staff that we can play uh, a little better, and they've taken it right to this, uh, this Plattsburgh club, and they didn't play that badly. Uh, Coach Dan Moore uh, the other night against uh, Potsdam was pleased with with their, with their effort. They, things didn't go their way, but uh, they've sustained that pressure here tonight and looked really super over these first two periods. Well, now we see that they've called Plattsburgh for a double minor and Messina for two separate minors. I don't know who the other one would be on. Well, they've got a two one and a halves and a three up there. Uh, so that means Plattsburgh will have a power play first, then Messina will have one later. Yeah. <laughs> so the nets and net result is uh, it'll be four on three right now for Plattsburgh and then it'll be five on four for Messina in a minute and a half. This this game has been moving right along and again but there's a delay here and I don't know why we have such a delay. I mean the officials make the call, go to the to the scores table and that should be it. But 
Every time well, there's a penalty, it's a big, uh, big production. Okay, off the faceoff, Labarge trying to flip it ahead. It comes back to the blue line and out to center ice. Aaron Barkley with it, drops it back to Labarge. Messina now just killing a penalty. Here's a long drifting shot that goes wide in behind the Plattsburgh net. Back to pick it up is Scott Luckin. Luckin starts out left side. Four on three power play for Plattsburgh. It comes down the ice to Eric Reed. Reed steps across the blue line, flips it to Luckin. Luckin winds. His drive goes wide. Back to Reed at the point. Reed winds up. That's high over the net. Bounces back to the point. It goes to Luckin. Luckin, a little problem with it. Now he finds the handle, goes to Reed. Reed shot, fires it wide again. Rebound comes to Bucci in the corner. Marco Bucci with it. Back to the point it goes. Here's Reed trying to go by. Jake steals it from him. Here comes Morris with it back the other way. One man back, but Morris breaks in. He's got one on four, takes it in behind. Jake in the corner as the buzzer sounds. And he just took his time going down the ice and uh, killed off the period. And we play two complete, and the Messina Red Raiders, with a four-goal outburst in the second period, lead it on a score of four to nothing. 28 seconds left in the two Messina penalties, and a minute 58 remaining in the penalty to, uh, let's see, that was Luckin, or no, excuse me, uh, Latinville for Plattsburgh, who picked up the double minor. So two periods, uh, Messina coming up with four goals in that period and lead it four to nothing. Our broadcast this evening brought to you by Cheney Tire on East Orvis Street, Messina. Your new and uh, Luckin. And we got four on three, of course. And also back there will be the big uh, defenseman, Eric Reed. Messina with Morris and Bigelow. And the lone defenseman out there will be uh, Aaron Barkley. And there's a miscue on the faceoff. Uh, uh, and they're going to move the face off uh, toward the Plattsburgh again and do it again. And don't ask me why, Jerry. I don't know. Off the face off, we'll do it again, and it comes back to Jake Morris, and he comes back for it himself, circles into his own end, looking to waste some time, and levels it down the ice. Bounces to the side of the net, as a matter of fact. And Luckin back there, Reed rather, back to pick it up. Here comes Reed now, 10 seconds left in the power play. Feeds it across the blue line. Sherman in the corner. Sherman feeding it. Back to the point it goes, and it comes out the center ice. And it's picked up by Reed. Reed flips to the Messina line. It's going to come to Morris. And the penalty is up, and Messina's on the power play now. And they move it out to center ice. Cameron, ahead to Bigelow, bounces away from him. Controlled by Plattsburgh. Morris racing in there, can't come up with it. Bigelow has to wait. He's going to drop it back to his blue line. Here comes Jason Labarge now, setting up, goes to Morris on the left wing. Jake takes it across, in the zone, setting up the power play. Let's Cameron go behind him, into the corner, back to the point. Labarge, back to Morris, at the 45. Morris tries to slide it through, it's intercepted, and dumped down the ice. A good play there by Paul Sherman, he read that play pretty well. Post with it, circles in front of his own empty net as Garitti had come out to play it, and starts down the ice. Here comes Tommy Post, stops at the point now, as again Messina sets up the power play. Post's going to take the shot. It's deflected right down the middle, and it comes free, and Bigelow can't find the handle. It's dumped out the center ice and down the ice by Marco Bucci. Now the head man from Garitti up to Morris. Morris drops it to Labarge, and Messina starts out with 25 seconds. They're going to just dump it in the zone, whips around the boards for Cameron. Chris with it now. Kicks it to Morris in behind the net. Here's Jake with it. Jake centering pass to Labarge, and he was breaking in, but it deflects off his stick and out to center ice. And Jeff Bigelow back to pick it up, feeding it ahead to Labarge to Morris. Now we're down to five seconds in the power play. Jake just steps right by the defenseman. Here's Morris centering pass right in front. Cameron, Cameron shot. Ooh, did he kiss off the goalpost? He sure did. And the puck comes around the boards to Labarge. Penalty is up, and Labarge is going to dump it into the open corner right side of the goalie. Cameron is there. Chris steps by the check, gets another play, right in front, Morris, shot, save the rebound, score! Jake Morris on the rebound, Messina goes up 5 to nothing. Jake Morris to the right spot, but young Chris Cameron did a great job. He stripped the puck, he flattened the defenseman in the corner, took the puck from him, and Jake was parked right in front. He put him right on his stick on the forehand. Jake initially right off the bat, ripped the shot, and Rob Dandrew made the save, but he didn't control the rebound, and Jake was present of mind, he slapped it back upstairs on the rebound. But a great job by Chris Cameron that time. So that'll read Morris from Cameron, and there may be another assist. We'll wait and see. Off the faceoff, puck comes to Manning. Manning feeds it to Post in his own end. 
on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Messina leads it five to nothing now. Here comes Tommy Post out center ice. Head man to McCracken. He was about a foot off sides when he caught that one. And that's the hat trick for uh, for Jake. Uh, uh, that's his third goal of the game. And we're just waiting officially, but we know that Chris Cameron will get one assist. Uh, the time is 2:11. Jake Morris, uh, Chris Cameron, and uh, we'll see on the other assist. They call it up by phone here, up to the press box. So there's a little uh, delay. A little bit of a delay. That's right. Off the faceoff, puck in the zone. McCracken jamming for it. Comes away with it to Moore. More backhander upstairs into the wall, and we'll face it off. And Scotty says I was wide open, but uh, Tommy didn't have a chance to pass it to him. And uh, the faceoff will come inside Plattsburgh territory. It went off a of Plattsburgh stick up into the wall. 12.26 remaining in the third period. Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, 5-0 Messina. Cameron, one assist. And Bigelow picking up the other assist. So Jake Morris, his first three goals of the season on the hat trick, and Messina leads it on a score of 5 to nothing. So Jake comes up with a hat trick, and uh, Cameron and uh, Bigelow pick up assists, uh, both their second assists of the game. Here's Tommy Moore in the corner, back to the point. Whoops. Goes underneath Manning all the way down the ice. And that was kind of one of those bouncers. Garitti plays the puck all the way to the blue line. Moore lets it go out to center ice, where Fauché is there to jam for it. Can't control it. Back to Manning. Manning now flips to Tommy Post. Post, head man to McCracken. McCracken feeds Fauché. Can't quite control it. Dahl flips it back to center ice, but Manning is there to flip it in the zone. Delay off sides, but Messina clears as the puck comes to Dahl behind his own net. Starts out, left side of the goalie. Fauché throws the check. The puck squirts free. It's picked up by Corey Lucas. Loses to Fauché. Back to post. He's going to fake the shot. Now he drives it deflected. Oh, Tommy Moore almost had a goal, but the goalie Dandro got a leg in front of it somehow. Great save by Dandro. Now here's Fauché in the corner. Fauché gets tied up, looking for some help. He finds Tommy Moore. Now back to Fauché. Fauché into the slot, centering it. Oh, jumped over McCracken's stick. And the puck in the corner. Messina really moving it now. Here's McCracken circling in behind, looking, looking. Circles into the corner, gets knocked down, gets back up again. Here comes McCracken in behind the net. He gets tied up once again by Bryce Dingman, gets back up again. The puck squirts free, and it's picked up by Corey Lucas out to center ice. All the way down the ice, and Plattsburgh wants to change up. Garitti flips it ahead. We have a whistle, and we're going to have a penalty on Joey Fauché, a roughing call, I believe. No, nope, hooking call yeah. on Fauché. I didn't see it, Jerry. Uh, I would just... Uh talking to myself amazing just the domination of this uh, that line had out there and if they haven't got on the scoreboard yet the Fauché McCracken Moore line but they certainly deserve to be on it they just they just dominated on that last shift out there they had the, the Plattsburgh defense tied up Scotty McCracken Tommy Post uh, drilled one from the point and Tommy Moore had to stick on the ice beautiful effect deflection and Rob Dandro just literally robbed him off the faceoff, Messina killing a penalty now as Fauché picked up a penalty behind the play. The puck out to center ice. Here comes Jake Morris with it, circling back. He's going to drop it to Jason Labarge. Labarge circles now to Morris, and Morris flips it to center ice. Cameron looking for it. He can't control his dump back in the zone. Messina killing a penalty, and it whistles around the boards but not out. Kept in by the big guy, Eric Reed into the slot. He shoots it wide. If he could get a shot on net, he might have a goal here. Now the puck picked up by Bebo in behind. Here's Darren Bebo now looking to set up the power play. Flips it on the 45, back to the point. Here's the drive, knocked down by Morris. Puck comes into the slot, into the corner now. They jam for it. Barkley trying to get it out of there. Messina bunched up a little bit, but Reed comes up with it. Flips it to the open man. It comes into the circle. Labarge looking. He's got a lot of room. He was going to pass. He decides not to. He stands behind the net. Looks. Bounces it on the glass to Reed, but he, Reed keeps it in. Here's Reed now flipping it. In the corner it goes. Brasco to Reed. His shot way wide. Cameron looks to find it. He can't quite come up with it. It comes back to Luke Luckin at the point. 20 seconds left in the power play. Luckin gets the pass back again. Flips to Reed. Reed winds up. Can't get the shot off as Morris was just tying him up enough. Here's Reed again looking to dump it into the corner. Bounces wide. It goes to Barkley. Barkley flips it around the grass. Glass. And Reed comes up with it, keeps it in. Feeds it through again. Here's Rasco, his shot knocked down by Labarge. He gets up slowly, but he's up again. In behind the net. Plattsburgh around the periphery. They center it, comes bouncing back to the point. Messina's got a man back on the ice. And we're back to five on five hockey. Here's a shot knocked down, goes in the corner. And finally, it's picked up by Cameron. He lugs it out to center ice. Here's Chris Cameron taking a whack at it. Dumps it in the Plattsburgh zone as Messina wants some fresh troops out there. As the Whitcup line comes out and... Uh, 
keeping it in the zone momentarily. No, excuse me, that is the Chilton line out there. Excuse me. And Plattsburgh flips the puck into the stands, and Chilton is out there with Trevor Brown and Mike Hewlett for their first time this season, I believe. Yeah, that's that young sophomore line. Trevor Brown on the left side, Mike Hewlett on the right side, and uh, Jason Chilton uh, centering it. Uh, that was the best uh, pressure that uh, the Hornets have had all game that last uh, shift. On that power play. Yeah. Okay, it's Butze's line out there now for the Plattsburgh Hornets. Here's Dahl with it, trying to headman it into the zone. Well, not quite in the zone. Plattsburgh has to come back, and it's dumped down the ice by Mike Hewlett. After it is Dahl. Dahl trying to feed it back to the blue line, and that's going to go all the way down the ice. That's got to be an icing call right there as the whistle blows and the faceoff move back inside Plattsburgh territory. 8.29 remaining in the third period, and on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, the Messina Red Raiders lead it uh, on a score of 5 to nothing. Young uh, Jason Chilton, only 5'8", 145, but I can guarantee you one thing, in a couple of years he's going to be a lot, a lot bigger than that. He comes from a long line of hockey-playing brothers and his uncles, outstanding hockey players. He's going to be a big one. <laughs> Here's a chance for Brown now, Trevor Brown in the corner. He gets railed, a little bit of an elbow there. Now it comes to Brown again. Looks to center it, but it's knocked down by the defenseman, Bryce Dingman. And Dingman flips it out to center ice. Here's Post with it. He lets it get by him. Here's a chance for Plattsburgh. Nice save. Rebound wide. Best chance by Plattsburgh there as they had the one-two punch. But the rebound was wide, and Messina breaks it out again. Long headman pass. Goes for Hewlett. Hewlett can't catch up with it. In the corner, it's Dahl for Plattsburgh. I think Messina's about ready to make a line change here. They've been out for a while as the puck bounces in on Garitti. And he's going to dump it right back to the blue line and out to center ice. About halfway through the third period, here's an opportunity for Jeff Lattenville. Oh, makes a good move, gets upended by Manning. And the puck comes free, picked up by Post. Bounce pass ahead, Kellison steps by the defense. Here's Kellison, gets a shot to save the rebound into the corner as Freddie got railed. Now the puck comes free to Eddie Davis. Davis out by the blue line, steps by some traffic, has it taken away. And back the other way, here comes Eric Reed, big guy. He's going to dump it in the Messina zone, stopped behind the net by Javier Garitti. Now it's uh, Aaron Barkley getting tied up, but he stays with it, comes away with the puck. Barkley, bounce pass. Kellison can't get it out of the zone. It's dumped to the open corner where Jason Labarge picks it up, flips it ahead, but not out once again. Here's another opportunity for Plattsburgh, but the puck comes free and Labarge is there to lift it, but not out again. Here comes the puck, and it's still setting in the slot. Who's got it? Whitcup. Whitcup just escaped a hooking call there. I don't know if you caught that one, David, but he could have very well have been called for that, but got away with it. Now the puck comes around the boards. Eddie Davis waits, flipping it ahead. Oh, he got the Kellison stick. It bounces away, but Kellison races in the corner after it. Looks to center, goes to the side of the net. And I guess Rob Dandros had enough. He says, let's hold on. Young uh, Todd Manning, uh, he's a big one, uh, 6'1", 185. He's a young junior playing defense. And uh, he, uh, he might have thought he was back on the... Uh, on the football field, snapping the ball, and Coach Tony Agostino getting off the line in a hurry. He lunged at one of the uh, Plattsburgh players, like, <laughs> and he gave him a left, right, and just went right by him. <laughs> off the faceoff. Speak of the devil, Manning's shot goes off a leg in the corner. Chris Cameron picking it up, looking to center it, and it's intercepted right there by Darren Bebo. Bebo gets tied up by Morris. The puck comes to the Messina line and back the other way. Here comes Jeff Bigelow. Bigelow's pass knocked back down to the Messina line. Manning again. Flips it ahead for Cameron. Cameron lets it go by into the zone. Out to center ice, back in. Off sides will be called. Cameron tried to sneak that one back in the zone, but the referee was right there to make the offside call. We're down to 6-10. Left to go in the third period. And on the Bob Post, State Farm Insurance scoreboard, Messina leads 5-0. Good outing for the Raiders, Jerry. All three units, and now the fourth unit's getting some ice time. Off the faceoff. Puck sits at the line. Now, finally, it's Cameron stepping by the defense into the corner. Chris with a puck now. Gets railed into the boards by Dahl. Gets it away to Morris to Bigelow. Bigelow now stick handling behind the net. Gets up and gets back up. There's, I don't know if there's anybody who can get up as quickly as Bigelow. Back to the point. Post is going to have to dump it into the corner. Cameron is there to flip it to Bigelow. He draws two defenders. Here's Bigelow. Right in front to Morris. Morris too deep to take the shot circles to Bigelow, Bigelow in behind, now circles, short side to Cameron, to Morris, the shot, nice save, the rebound, another nice save by Dandro, and the puck comes free, picked up by Cameron, Cameron to Bigelow, Bigelow waits, looking, circles, circles again, into the faceoff circle, a backhander goes just wide into the corner, Cameron picks it up, steps in front, jams at it, 
feeds it, and it comes back to the point. And Morris tries to keep it in, but can't. It slides out to center ice. Now here comes Tommy Post with it, and he just dumps it in the zone, and Messina's going to get another line out there. We're going to see that uh, Chilton line again as the puck gets dumped into the Messina zone. Tommy Post with it. Starts out. Here's Post stepping by, moving it down ice, takes it across the red line, dumps it into the zone. Now in the corner, it's Trevor Brown with it, looking to pass, centers it to Chilton. Chilton goes back to Brown in the corner. Here's Chilton with it, centering all oh, right across the goal mouth. He couldn't get a stick on it. Now the puck kept in by Chilton. Chilton stays with it. He gets a weak shot off. That's knocked down. Now Chilton throws a check. The puck squirts free to Trevor Brown. Trevor with it. Back to the point. Here's Aaron Barkley gets a shot. Knocked down in front by defenseman Eric Reed. Back to the point. Barkley keeps it in. Here's Barkley centering it right in front. Mike Hewlett backhander right on. Big save. The rebound. Chilton can't come up with it. And Plattsburgh clears out to center ice. Here comes Boatsier dropping it off to his winger Zuckerman. His puck in the corner, Zuckerman, gets pretty well tied up and hog-tied. Gets the puck free anyway. It squirts into the corner. Right in front, they jam at it. And uh, Javier says that's enough of that and holds on for the faceoff. Good sustained pressure uh, by Jason Chilton, Trevor Brown, and Mike Hewitt. Good shift out there. Uh, Trevor's dad was uh, quite a hockey player, Ray Brown, uh, a few years ago. Ray's from my era. <laughs> he played for you, did he? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I owe you one on that one, too. <laughs> but a good shift by that young line. Uh, uh, <laughs> we've got 4.09 left in the, uh, in the game, and the Raiders up 5 nothing. Plattsburgh picked, or Messina, I should say, picked up a penalty on that exchange. Uh, I don't know who. Is that Jason Labarge in there? I think it is. I pick up a two. It's either Jason or uh, Aaron Barkley. I think it's Jason Labarge. Okay. Well. So Plattsburgh will be on the power play as Messina tries to get it out of the zone. It comes around the puck boards into the corner for Todd Manning. Manning doesn't get it out. Kept in at the point by Bryce Dingman. Dingman in the slot. They jam at it. Post knocks it down. It comes free to McCracken. McCracken going down with Foshe. Two on two. Here comes McCracken now on wide side, right side, in behind the net. Looking, he can't find Foshe in front of the net. He goes all the way back to Manning at the point. His drive deflected wide in the corner. We have a whistle. And we got another penalty, I believe. I'll tell you, I just saw a little bit of uh, discipline and really pleased me. Uh, Scotty McCracken, uh, uh, number seven, Mike Dahl, gave him a cheap shot, and the official didn't see it. And uh, Scotty didn't retaliate. The Raiders are down a man. They couldn't afford to have another man. Well, who's going in the box? It's a, Paul Sherman. Oh, Sherman. I was going to say maybe Mike Dahl and uh, Paul. That uh, would be justification. But uh, good job of discipline by uh, Scotty McCracken. He's had a whale of a game out here tonight. He hasn't gotten the scoreboard, but uh, he's played. Uh, that line's played strong. <clears throat> We're down to 341 remaining in period number three. Messina on the Bob Post scoreboard leading five to nothing. And uh, I think we can safely say that this one's going to go in the W column. And that'll make Messina two and one overall, one and one in the NAC. Here's Post with it. His pass intercepted. Breaking down is Bebo. Post gets back and ties him up just enough to allow Manning to come up with a loose puck. Flipping it ahead. It goes to Eddie Davis. Davis looks for Morris. Morris gets upended. They're going to have a, I don't know what they called, just an offside. They didn't call it right away. I uh, guess was, Messina had to touch it first. Kind of delay. Uh, Jake uh, broke from the right side, broke to open ice in the middle, and uh, he uh, wanted Eddie Davis to hit him on the fly, and he was going full tilt, and he couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, hold back, and he crossed the blue line just prior to the puck. Bebo will face off against Morris just outside the blue line, off the draw. The puck controlled by the Hornets. It goes to Reed. Reed starts out. Long head man pass on the wing now. It's Luckin. Luckin back to Reed as they play defensive passing. Here's Reed now trying to step by Tommy Post. In behind the net, slides it right in front. Bouncing puck. Here's the shot. Knocked down. Ouch. Jake Morris took that one off the pads. Puck goes in the corner now. Here's Bebo with it. He gets upended by Post. And there's going to be a penalty on Messina as soon as they touch the puck, which they do. And we're going to have a slashing call, I think, against Tommy Post. He says, who, me, again? A little chippy out there. Uh, I think the, uh, the last few seconds, uh, the Hornets uh, know that they've been thoroughly dominated tonight, but the official's doing an excellent job. He's going to whistle. whistle who would he call it on? I'm not sure. Uh, the gate's not open yet, and uh, he did call one. He's talking to the Raider coaching staff, and I wonder. I hope he's not going to call it this. I called it on Eddie Davis, apparently. Calling high, high stick, yeah. I didn't... Uh, I think right at the uh, 
with the 250, the Raiders' big concern right now if they can come up with a, come up with a shutout and uh, That's right. do their utmost to help uh, Javier Goretti. Don't think any more offense. Just clear the zone and let's get that shutout for uh, young Javier. So that'll make it four on three plus the goalies. Plattsburgh advantage. Face off right side of Goretti. In the Messina zone. Off the draw. Bouncing puck in the slot. They jam and Fauche clears it down the ice. And it goes right in on Dandro. And he's going to flip it ahead. And uh, McCracken trying to run a little interference there. And around the boards it comes. Reed with it. He gets tied up. Stolen away by Labarge. And he dumps it back into Plattsburgh territory. Sean Rasco. With a puck falls down. But he managed to flip it as he was falling. And the puck cleared out to center ice. McCracken waits for it, drops it back. Messina passing the puck around now. It comes to Fauche. He steps by a check into the zone, trying to feed it through. McCracken overskates it. The stick was lifted. Fauche stays with it back to Labarge. Here's Labarge in the corner now. He gets upended. The puck comes free. And the penalties are all up except that last penalty to Messina's Eddie Davis. So Messina still killing. Under two minutes to play. Messina on the post scoreboard leading at 5-0. The pass comes to Fauche. He breaks in one on two. Cuts across the grain. Gets tied up and can't get the shot off. And back the other way. Here comes Boutsier. Boutsier trying to center it. And Garitti's going to cover up side of the net. And we got a face off and we got a penalty. And a little pushing and shoving as Labarge. Mixing it up a little bit with Boutsier. And I imagine we'll have matching minors. Yep. Well, roughing. it's the... Uh won't say the easy way out, but Jason uh, maintained his composure. Uh, uh, young Mr. Bootsier uh, flailed him with a stick and flailed him with the elbow, and Jason, you know, didn't want to, but uh, he finally just shoved him back. It's, uh, both of them are going, but I, uh, the instigator in that uh, situation was certainly uh, number 15, Mike Bootsier. Again, in the fr and the, the referee's pointing the finger at him. Uh, 141 left in the, uh, in the game, uh, and Messina up 5 nothing. Uh, Faceoff will come to the right side of Javier Gritti. <clears throat> Let's see here. Lattinville. So uh, Plattsburgh sending their fourth line out for the first time tonight. Or at least one of them. Lattinville will be out there. Along with uh, Zuckerman. And back it'll be Dahl along with Dingman. Messina will have three skaters out there. Bigelow will be out there along with Jake Morris and Tommy Post. And the faceoff will come to the right side. And we're still waiting for them to get this straightened around. They have a little trouble. Get, yeah, they have a delayed penalty. The Raiders have got, uh, I think, three of them are in the box. Who's in there? Uh, Jason. Uh, it's going to be a weak shot right off the faceoff. And Garitti just kind of covers it up. And we'll do it again. 138 remaining. Who's the third? Or is there just two? No, just, just two. two. Okay. All yeah. right. So Boutsier goes off, as does Jason Labarge. Off the faceoff, Jake Morris with a puck now, flipping it around for Bigelow. Bigelow circles back, takes it in behind the net, now starts out right side, lifts it long down the ice. It's going to bounce in on Dandro. He's going to glove it. He's got Jake Morris right on top of him. He covers up and holds on for the faceoff, and will draw this time in the Plattsburgh end. Sometimes, uh, you know, it happens like this towards the end of the game. There's a few chippy penalties in there, but I know those youngsters that are on those fourth units and both teams are just wishing that this wouldn't happen because this is an ideal time to get them that additional ice time. Normally, they'd be out there. WMSA, Messina, New York. As the puck comes down in the Messina zone, Barkley with it, head man to Bigelow. Bigelow down the right wing side, takes it across. Here's Bigelow. He gets railed, and the puck goes flying, and so does he. It's picked up by Paul Sherman. Jeff tried to split the D and uh, didn't quite make it all the way through. Here's Sherman now. Down the ice. His shot way wide. Puck whistles to Jake Morris. Morris bounce pass to himself. Takes it across the blue line. Here's Jake with it. Into the corner. He and Sherman jam. And the puck comes free. Morris just throws a heavy check. And back the other way comes Plattsburgh. Morris gets a piece of it with 40 seconds remaining. Out to center ice. Barkley flips it back in. We got delay offsides on Messina. They wave it off as Messina clears Whitcup out there now for Messina, running a little uh, interference. It comes to Dahl. He's going to drive it from the blue line, and the puck cleared by Garetti. 
now on the ice. That'll be an icing call on the scene, I believe. Yes, sir, because we're skating four on four plus the goalies. How often do you see icing on the goaltender? Not too often, but uh, Javier saw it. He was covered on the left flank and on the right flank, and the middle was wide open, and he handles the stick really well, and he just flipped it up, but he got a bad roll. But one thing... Jerry out there, and it just typifies the way he plays. It's 5 nothing. There's uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds left to go in the game. He's forechecking tenaciously. Jeff Bigelow, uh, he got, who, did you see the way he backchecked coming back? Uh, yep. Skated his heart out. That just typifies the way he plays all the time in this Raider club. Bobby Whitcup out there to take the face off against Sherman. Off the draw, it comes to Tommy Post. And he's going to carry it around behind the net. Start out, backhand it, center ice. 10 seconds remaining. Across the well, it does come into the zone. Here's an opportunity right in front, but it's cleared by Tommy Post. Bounces it. Here's Reed with it. One second. That's the buzzer. And Messina comes oh, up. Oh, 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 oh. As Todd Manning oh. got railed by Eric Reed. Oh. He got a stick right in the face. Yes, he did. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was... Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, and the referee is escorting him right to the back of the... Right off the rink right now because I'm afraid that I'm just uh, just at the buzzer. Uh, Eric Reed, he was being checked by Todd Manning, just skating alongside of him. And as the buzzer went out a simple frustration, uh, Eric Reed brought his stick up uh, and just took Todd Manning right on the side of the head. Thank God he had the mask on. He's okay. He's up on his. Uh, He's up on his feet right now. The coaching staff immediately were out to his assistance, but that was a real nasty shot. And uh, Todd, uh, he's not cut. Uh, there's no blood pack. He's up on his feet, and uh, he's skating off under his own power, shaking his head. But that was a really nasty, cheap shot, and I, I know there's going to be some disciplinary action when the officials file a report on that. That was certainly uncalled for, but uh, thank God there were no, uh, no serious, serious injuries. No. So Messina ends up with a victory and uh, a shutout, a 5 to nothing victory for the Messina Red Raiders as they score four in the second after dominating the first and uh, five more, or I should say one more here in the third for uh, a 5 to nothing victory. And they go 2-1 and one overall, 1-1 one and one in the Northern Athletic Conference. So that's a, a big victory for Messina. And once again, uh, the final score, the Messina Red Raiders defeat the Plattsburgh High School Hornets Five to nothing.